beta blocker overdose. Shuts down sympathetic tone. Leads to heart rate really slowing. Shuts down. <laughs> Shuts down. Hypotension. <laughs> and in severe cases, cardiogenic shock. Remember, bedside ultrasound is actually really useful here because you can get a baseline for that cardiogenic shock. You can also see how your interventions are doing after that. Non-selective beta blockers like propanolol, carvedilol, be on the lookout for CNS depression and seizures here because they're very lipophilic in nature. They're going to cross that blood-brain barrier, right? Notably, beta blockers can cause AV block and, again, cardiogenic shock. The diagnosis of beta blocker toxicity is clinical, but... On EKG, it's really going to be showing bradycardia, prolonged PR interval, interval, and possibly AV block. You know that can raise your suspicion if you're not 100% sure if this is coming from beta blockade. Uh, a couple crazy. other key things, you know, boards uh, will kind of mention or allude to in labs. Hypoglycemia and metabolic acidosis are also common in this medication class.